Hello world, my name is Keon, and we're here with a game that I've been wanting to play ever since I first heard about it, called Quantum Conundrum. Uh, one of the main, actually the main reason why I wanted to play it is because one of the people who created Portal, one of the original creators, worked on this game. She's behind this game. So, of course, I wanted to give it a try. And another little tidbit that I didn't know until just now, they made it using the Unreal Engine. What? So let's get started, shall we? I hope this game runs well because Once right now it's just the menus and I'm only running at 20 frames. Usually start, yeah. hmm. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. Did she now? She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, Aww. or at least that's what she claimed. False. And so on a <laughs> fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brothers. Oh, that's effed up. Now so you're the brother. I mean, you're lonely. Boy had visited you're fapping, and you get a, a boy as a present. Each time was complete with a grand entrance huh. from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. Was it really with now? Each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. Ice man, you just killed the teddy bear. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit different. Why do I have a cape? No, seriously, why do I have a cape? Ha! Huh. If there is an infinite number of parallel well, dimensions, see, does it really matter if we destroy just one? Regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> Holy crap, my computer is weak. Move around with WASD. Well, you just hold on. The hold foyer, on one second. I will join you as soon as I can. I'm a sh Oh my goodness. I'm going to change some of these settings real quick. Hold on. Hello, folks. Well, it brings me great grievance to say that this game doesn't seem to be very well optimized for the PC. Uh, nothing's even going on right now. I have my resolution at an extremely low rate, and I'm lagging. But they have no fear. We'll get through it. Can I pick this up? I can't pick up a couch. I'm a little boy. I should be able to pick up whatever the hell I want. Womp, 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 womp. Holy hell, this is too sensitive for me. Alright. Oh, you confounded machine. Ugh. Hey, buddy. What was that? Yo, mama. So yeah, so it's not just me. I'm still getting a lot of pop in on textures. Okay, good. Just, just glad to know it's not just me. Cause I, I know my computer isn't all that powerful, but. Bring your luggage with you. Whoa. Our children of this generation aren't the best at listening. Whoa, buddy, relax. How entirely frustrating. Wait, so now you want to work? I guess it's just this room. I'm gonna keep it. Holy crap, lag. I can't pay attention. Alright. I have my oh, luggage. Oh, good. That, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Really? Hmm. Physics and platforming in a first person shooter. Oh, yeah. Lovely. I've forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be able to use your luggage Come on. to give you an extra boost. I'm trying to. You're not going to reveal the button to me, you asshole. Oh, that. Well, uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Cool. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! Very odd home. I like the decor. You need to quit screaming in my ear, though. What the elf? What the f- What the What the hell? Huh? Wait, what? That makes sense. Wait, what just happened? You tell me, bitch. Security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and hello. You you, you can hear.
hear me, right? Yeah. Jump around a bit if you can. Ah, it seems See, I hate when they make games for consoles, and well, it's so blatantly obvious that the game was made for consoles that they just do a uh, so-so job porting it to testing. the PC. There. Huh. That seems better. odd to me. Now, like, I'm not a PC fanboy by any stretch of the imagination, here, but games are made on PC. Think today, about the PC no for once. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this Can't make room, games on consoles. Still on backup power. My head is killing me. It's but whatever, as though whatever. I a rather large epidural hematoma. A you got a hemorrhage? On my head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. I would like to, but do not open in this door. Thank you. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector. I do like the way the game looks, though. I'll give it that. It reminds me a little bit of uh, I do think the fail safe a little bit of Team Fortress. Unfortunately, the front door will Team remain Fortress in lockdown. Team Fortress 2, I should say. Until you can Team Fortress 1 and Team Fortress 2 have two very different art styles. This one's all colorful and light. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. I should be able to. What if I can't? I'm assuming that it's left. No, let me actually do something real quick. I'm gonna add bloom since everything seems to be working in order. Ah, don't look at my pitiful resolution. Let me see if I can do motion blow. Probably not. Oh, I can. Cool, motion blur is back. Everything looks sexy now. I'm gonna spin in circles for the sake of spinning in circles. Yeah. Cause motion blur is sexy. Gonna twist that around. Well, that wasn't as effective as I had hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each cool. sector in order to lift the current lockdown. I'm cool with that, Just, baby. Uh, take the glove in the box with you. Giggity. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Take the glove in the box? Well, you know what they say, no glove, no love. So, if you didn't love me, you wouldn't let me take the glove. I have no idea what you're talking about, though, dude. <laughs> I want and that light is leading me in all the wrong places oh haha <laughs> there's the glove how you doing baby I told you to pick up what you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device or IDS device for short it's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy mm -hmm. get it you know because it's a glove <laughs> if you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. So there's kind of like a hub world? Cool. Cool, so I'm going to come back here a lot of times then, aren't I? There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Huh. I mean, visited. I get the feeling that my uncle doesn't like me. I thought that this now would be a loving tale, but I guess it's not. For several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. The hell is that? All right then. <laughs> I'm grabbing stuff because I have no idea what to do right now. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever <gasps> dimension not mean has that. rifts in the area. So I can only work if I have a rift in the area. Gotcha. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Well, then just don't make patient. me excited for it. You just gave me like an awesome toy, and then you're this just like, you can't do anything. This door is using one of my inventions, the uh -huh. repetitive periodic articulating gruy day, or a drinking bird. Except huh. it's far more advanced. Is it now? Looks pretty from the back. Okay, I would like to have some actual gameplay happen. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and oh the goodness. distance it can be from a receptacle in order Just to... Just want to play something. It's been 10 minutes this and I'm still effing around. This is experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, 
the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Oh? There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is... Fluffy Dimension. Fluffy. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful. Because everything is ten times lighter <laughs> than normal. <laughs> That's one thing they pointed out they would do. Make things fluffy in this universe. Ha ha ha. I can lift this. I almost died. Cool, so I'm gonna keep playing this game. Um, but uh, unfortunately not a lot of gameplay happened this round. Maybe next round. We'll see. I don't know. Don't judge me. But thank you for watching. Tune in next time. Uh, comment, critique, like, and subscribe. And thank you for subscribing as well. I'm gonna work on that. I don't like my jingle anymore. I don't, it, it doesn't jingle my jangle quite right. But anyways, bye.